Project Zomboid is one of the most in-depth zombie survival games on the market, so today, with the help of some mods, I thought it would be really fun and fresh to rely only on myself to craft everything, from the shoes on my feet to the weapons and equipment I use. So that means I can't use anything I find in the world, like a weapon or axe to chop down trees with. The only exception to this rule are tools that are needed for essential crafting recipes, such as a hammer or propane torch, as there's no way to progress without them. Food, literature, and crafting materials, such as twine and nails, are free game though. Hopefully, this should push us into looting the dangerous city centers. The whole point is to see the progression of our new hero. From the Stone Age, all the way to a Metal Age maniac. Anyways, let's begin. Welcome everyone to the Iron Man Challenge in Project Zomboid. Today, we are joined by Grug. We are starting with nothing, so I'm hoping that we can start off as a zero and become a hero. We are kind of, you know, in the middle of nowhere. We do have a farmhouse right next to me, which I am going to be looting. But yeah, we are nowhere near any towns or cities, which is for the better, because these zombies are also special infected, which are pretty scary. So this is kind of like our nice little beginner box for us to get our feet planted in the ground and get started with a nice little toolkit. Speaking about feet, we need shoes badly. So I'm hoping that by the end of this episode, we can have ourselves some some real fun shoes. All that's left to do, though, is check out this nice little place while avoiding any hazards or glass shards. If I step in a pile of glass while looking throughout this farmhouse, that is going to be a game over situation. I know because I've had it happen to me. <laughs> oh, on top of that, we have a nice fresh corpse here, which is actually really good for me. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and not take her clothing and instead fashion it into raw supplies so we can craft our own stuff. So thank you, ma'am. You are helping me out a ton. Uh, do we have any food inside the uh, the kitchen? Uh, no, no food. Anything in the back here or pants, which I guess we can rip up into clothing. And while we are doing that, we should go ahead and make ourselves some uh, some thread, make thread from eight sheets. That'll be uh, helpful later. Not right now, but it is good to have. Another shirt for us to rip up. Even more clothing for us to rip up. These corpses are going to be the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> broom, which I could actually use really quick. Right, I can't use the broom as a weapon and swing it around, but I can use it as a crafting material to make my own spear with. Bada bam, I'll take it. It ain't the best, but hey, it makes me feel a lot better. Speaking about crafting stuff, I almost forgot. We should make ourselves a quick old loincloth. It ain't gonna do much for us right now, but you know, it kind of helps me get into the mood of being the ultimate caveman. <laughs> I mean, come on. It looks pretty damn good, all right? With the spear, I look like I'm ready to hunt down a mammoth. Time for the upstairs now. Oh, yeah, we got some freaking Skittles. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, nothing like some 10 year old Skittles to go down the old hatcheroony. <laughs> I'll take them. That is non perishable food that I can always eat later. I think it's time to go check out the shed down here, though. And of course, while we're moving around outside, I'm always going to have the foraging mode enabled just in case if we find something nice. I'm hoping we get some tools out of here, but, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Large bolts, metal pipe, a saw? Okay, and some duct tape. Don't mind if I, you know, a screwdriver. Wow, this farm is absolutely loaded, huh? That seems to be it, other than a sheet here, which I can then turn into a nice old sheet bag. I told you making those two sheet ropes would have been helpful. The sheet bag is objectively terrible, though. It only has a 35 weight reduction with eight capacity, but is but it's the only bag I can use as of right now. So I'll, I'll take it. We take those. I'd say the only thing we're missing right now is uh, some basic stone tools and a, a damn pair of shoes. So what I'm going to do right now is enable the foraging mode and hoping that I come across either a large stone, a chip stone, any one of the stones so we can craft ourselves a hammer and then we can get the ball really rolling. So wish me luck. This might actually take a bit to look around for. Come on, RNG. Give me one singular stone and I will leave you alone. 
we're probably gonna get some scratched up feet very soon, so I just want to prepare you mentally for that. There's nothing I can really do about it. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, okay, that's a scratch on our forearm. And that is a zombie coming in after me right now, huh? Well, it's a good thing we have this spear. <laughs> ah! Yeah! That's our first kill. Back on the lookout for some stones. Okay, then. I have a plan B. Um, instead of trying to find stones, what I'm going to go ahead and do instead is search for tree branches, because there is a small chance that I find a stone in another way other than foraging. Oh, yep, that's going to be a scratch on my foot. I really need shoes. I need them badly. Please, I, I appreciate all the food you're giving me, game, but I, 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 I need some basic crafting supplies right now. Okay, wow, I guess I'm just extremely unlucky. Uh, we spent, like, a, a good chunk of the day foraging, did not find anything, but that's fine. Because there is another way that I can get these resources. So, let me show you. I just stepped in glass! Oh, that is one thing I did not want to happen! It's so hard to see this glass! Okay, this is not good. Um, this just made my life ten times worse. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, fuck! You know, it is what it is. Uh, I was planning on sleeping tonight, but I don't think we can sleep with this excruciating agony. All I have to do right now is remove the glass, bandage it up with some rip sheets, and pray, hope, beg, plead that I can find a stone, a branch, and, and then we can get the ball rolling. But for right now, we are absolutely mangled beyond recognition. Hungry, thirsty, in pain, not good. But anyways, as I was going to show you, we can remove vegetation, and as we search through these clumps of grass, we have a chance of finding an item, like right there. It increases our foraging skill, and we found ourselves, I think, a few more berries. This is how we're going to get everything. Hopefully. RNG could also just screw me over, but we're going to be doing this for the rest of the night anyways, because, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to sleep. So, wish me luck, and I'm just gonna go on a big ol' spree. Hey, that's another level of foraging. We got ourselves a few basic supplies, nothing that I really need, but one thing that I am kind of happy about. <laughs> we got ourselves a little froggy! Oh, look at that little guy! Oh my god! You're gonna be my friend from now on! From here on out, you're, it's gonna be Grug, and uh, your name's gonna be uh, Filbert. You're gonna be my little buddy for as long as I'm alive, which is probably not gonna be long because I screwed up my, 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 my feet. Oh, beautiful. It's raining as well. Come on. Just a single branch is all I ask for. I can't forage in this condition. All right. It's raining pretty hard. I think we call quits for the day. Uh, I can go ahead and eat these nettles and parsley. They're not gonna hold me up for too long. But it is something. I guess I'll see y'all in the morning. When it's a little bit brighter and I have less of a chance of getting jumped out in the middle of the night. This is such terrible weather to be in, by the way. Grug is just contemplating his entire life right now, as he should be. I'm looking outside right now. It's day two. My legs are absolutely mangled and it is just storming today. I love this game. I absolutely love it when it just shoves a middle finger right in my face. I'm just trying to live my best life, you know, subsisting off the land. But the land obviously doesn't like it. I, I really need to find these materials. It it's do or die, folks. I've never been this desperate for a single tree branch in my life. Uh, oh, we got a dead squirrel in here. God, there's a lot of dead animals, huh? I don't think we're going to get lucky trying to find a tree branch in here. So I'm going to go hurry up, drop off our stuff, uh, probably grab a quick bite to eat because I am very hungry, and see what's cooking on the menu today. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have the oregano and the violets. Those are the only things I can eat safely right now. Everything else is, uh, yeah, I don't really want to risk it. So let's just see if we can find ourselves... The tree branch that I need oh so desperately. Come on. Oh, I just did I just step in more glass? No, it's just a deep wound that's infected, bleeding, and scratched. That's fine. <laughs> uh, just just rub it. Just oh my god, there's zombies here. There's zombies here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! This is not a good time for zombies to be here! Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Just cause I'm weak don't mean I ain't a fucking Chad. Bam. That's what I thought. Okay, problem has been dealt with. Uh, kind of scary. I am going to be ripping all these zombies' clothes into their base components. Because that gives us a little bit of tailoring skill. Check that out. And I, I need a bunch of tailoring right now. Anyways, back on the search for some firewood. Th those are twigs. Okay, kind of close to tree branches. I think we're getting warmer. Oh, that's a well. That That's actually a really nice well. Um, Wow, that's that's really nice. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I didn't even realize this farmhouse had a well. Well, that that's game changing for us. This is definitely a good place to be then. Come on, it says it's common here. Obviously, it ain't that common. It also could be just be the amount of pain that I'm in affecting my chances of finding firewood. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go and rely on the good old fashioned uh, rip grass out of the ground and hope I find branches this way. You never know. Ooh, we got ourselves a sturdy stick. Okay, come on. It's literally the upgraded version of that. One more, one more, one more. How hard is it to find a single branch in the damn woods? Well, uh, it's tactically day three. I just leveled up my foraging yet again. It's at a solid four. <laughs> I have gotten everything but a single tree branch right now. Uh, the good thing is that we can eat some of these grape leaves and some of these violets to kind of hold off my insatiable hunger because I can't start a fire right now because I don't have any damn tree branches. It's a, it's a very bad situation to be in, but at least I can go to sleep right now. It's morning. The storm is done. If we just find a single tree branch, I can do so much. I just stepped in the glass again, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not doing all right right now. That, oh man, I I need shoes, brother. Well, let's just drop off everything we have in there. Look at all the food we have. If only I could, I mean, we, we have two stones. We can make a chip stone. This is so good. All I need right now is a single branch and I can get the ball rolling and we can get, get out of here like we're a damn legend. Just a single branch. I'm going to go out and forage and hope and cross my fingers that I can find it out here. It's, it's the best chance we have right now. Oh, another stone. Okay, we're getting stones now. What I need is a tree branch. Just one. Oh, 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 yes, we're back in it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. First things first, we're going to make ourselves a stone hammer. Bada bam, we got ourselves our first freaking tool of the day. And as soon as we get back to our nice little base camp, I'm going to go make the second thing we need. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> Finally, things are looking on up for us. Up next, I want to make myself bop, 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 a chip stone, just like that. Gives us two, and we can make ourselves a quick old knife. Hell yeah, we got ourselves a knife and a hammer. And now what we can do is uh, butcher up these birds and animals for leather. Yeah, it's happening. Oh my gosh. But before we go ahead and do that, I need to make a needle. So in order to make one of those, we're going to need some nails. But this is where the hammer comes in, because it gives us the ability to disassemble basic furniture. Also, we have a saw. I forgot about the saw. This is where the saw comes in clutch. But there we go. We got to sell some nails and now we can craft ourselves a needle. Yes. Oh, it's happening. And before I continue disassembling this place, which I will in its entirety, like a nematode from SpongeBob, I need to make us some damn shoes. And I also need to patch up my wounds now, which I can do. Bada bam. We can finally stitch up our feet. Just like that. Oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah, sure, it's still infected, but eh, just just walk it off, right? I'm sure it'll heal just fine. Oh, hell yeah. We can walk normally. We can jog. We're as fit as a fiddle. And in order to stop this uh, tragedy from ever happening again, looking at you, glass shards on the floor that I stepped in twice, we can go ahead and butcher these small animals for leather. Bada bam, we got ourselves some leather strips, which we can go ahead and turn into leather really quick and make ourselves 
some fur boots. <laughs> Check these babies out. Woo-wee! And not only that, I'm actually going to make a couple more uh, things here. Actually, I, I just went ahead and turned all of the uh, animals into leather, giving us eight leather strips, which we can go ahead and make into two leather. Bada bam, bada boom. Which we can then turn into a nice skin tunic. Oh, yeah! <laughs> looking good, looking good. All right, this is our first set of equipment. And I, I, I'm feeling great now. I'm feeling fan-freaking-tastic. So let's go grab all of our food now, and I think it's about time we fix our other problems. Now all I gotta do is uh, disassemble a bunch of this furniture right now in hopes that we can get our hands on a plank, which we can then drill and then start up a quick rudimentary fire with. There we go, there's our plank. Let's go drill that bad boy and then turn the scrap wood into scrap chips so we can go ahead and make a quick campfire kit. I've been starving this entire time, so it's gonna be nice to get some food in us, you know? Okay, these two frogs are not Filbert. This is Filbert, okay? I wish I could name him, but that's Filbert right over there. These two, though, are free games, so let's go slice up some frogs into fillets. Go grab some extra wood to throw on the fire. And light this bad boy with our notch wooden plank and our sturdy stick. Ha ha ha! Eras! We're progressing at breakneck speeds now! Alright, time to go cook up our food. We got some frog meat, some random bugs and critters we can cook up, termites, and some wild eggs. Oh yeah! Meat's back on the menu, boys! Can you smell it in the air? Ooh, that's gonna be the good stuff. I won't be eating the um, the bugs immediately because those do last for quite a while. But the frog meat, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think the frog meat is good whenever. So let's go have ourselves some wild eggs. Delish, oh so nutrish. I needed the I needed these calories really badly. I think all we gotta do now is sit down. Kind of relax a bit, go read up some of these magazines we found, and go to sleep like a damn king. Alright, uh, that's gonna be it for these magazines. I might as well add them in as fuel for the fire, because why not? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day is look around for some more tree branches, right? I need more. My, my thirst for tree branches is not over yet, because I want to create a hand axe. And with that hand axe, I want to craft up a nice little unga bunga club. So if I could find a tree branch somewhere out here, it'd be perfect. And I'm hoping now that we're, you know, a little bit more agile and limber, we'll be able to find it just fine. Another stone, still no, uh, still no tree branch. It, we're on our third day here? I was really hoping I would have found one, but I might just need to call it quits. I mean, I've been looking around for a while. I've been finding a lot of stones. I love how they pop up as soon as, like, I don't need them. And the one thing I do need is nowhere to be seen. This is really giving me deja vu of the Other Worlders series where I just need one single thing and I just don't get it. I would really like to get this last thing before I move out and it would be really cool and it'd really fit with the caveman theme. But holy hell, is this a lot of work? Oh, Jesus, there's a zombie right there. What? what? Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Get out of here. Anyone else? Oh, yeah, there's actually quite a few over here. What the heck? Okay, well, uh, yeah, that happened. Hey, yeah, yeah, y'all scared the crap out of me. Oh, there goes. That's exactly why I need a, a better weapon than a spear. And I'm not about to leave this place when these zombies can become like superheroes. I just need one tree branch. I am half tempted of pushing one down myself if it if it if it needs to come to that. Please. Cilantro, not what I need. I I honestly think we go to Plan B. Uh, at this rate, we've been looking around for eons. All we're finding is like, you know, not tree branches. So I'm just going to go back to where our farmhouse is. And I'm going to, I'm just going to go start sifting through the grass in hopes that I can find a single one. All I need is one and then I'll be happy with my whole situation. So let's just begin. 
No tree branch in sight, but we did get enough food to, I think, start up another fire in the morning. So I guess I'll see y'all then. You know, things could be going a whole lot worse right now. I could be starving. I actually am, but that's going to change very soon. Why do I have a cherry in there? <laughs> I think things are just going to be fine. Let's go cook up the frog meat for later. And that rodent meat is going to hit the spot right now. Delicious. All right. Time to find that damn branch. I don't have a lot of faith, but hey, you know, I'm filled up on food. I I'm, I'm great in morale. I think this is the best time we're going to find one. Look, we already got ourselves a leak. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. It, it's been so long. Finally, we can make it and we can make ourselves a stone axe. Oh, that is you do not know how long I've waited to get this. All right, let's go ahead back to our base. We're back at base camp. I guess kind of like a base. I am planning on moving far away from this area, but now I'm going to equip the stone axe and chop down a small little tree here, right? This one can go. Boom. We have ourselves a log. Now you might be asking, why do I need a log? It's quite simple. <laughs> We're going to make a damn wooden club. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting for the entire time. Bada. Bingo, wooden club acquired. Time to absolutely dunk on these fools. But yes, I am extremely happy I was finally able to um pull it, pull that off. Okay, so let's go grab a quick drink to eat. And I think for the rest of the day today, I'm just going to go ahead and disassemble everything within this farmhouse. And tomorrow, it's going to be a grand day as I try to make my exodus to the quaint town of Riverside. My base location, I kind of want right here. And there will be a very good reason later. But yeah, right there is going to be my beautiful base. It's going to be a long trip ahead. I could do some looting on the way. At the very least, we have ourselves weapons, tools, clothing. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to be exposed to the elements. So yeah, this is going pretty damn good for us. So things are going pretty damn good for us right now. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle everything inside here and I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, that's going to be it for today. We got ourselves to level one carpentry, halfway to the next one, level one cooking, halfway to the next one. And look at that foraging skill. I would say, you know, aside from the start with me walking into um a set of glass glass shards, glass shards, things have been going A-OK -okay for us. So yeah, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see y'all in the next one. I'm, I'm feeling really damn good about this series, by the way. There's going to be so many different ways we could take this. And I think starting from zero and becoming a hero is going to be really fun. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next one. Have a damn good day. Peace out.